Despite the unpredictability of how Earth will behave when the moon is too far, the days of chaos are indeed coming. If the moon was just 275,000 miles away, only 10% further from where it resides now, a chaotic Earth will wipe out nearly every living thing. By 1.5 billion years, the moon will be far enough that Jupiter's gravitational pull on Earth will take over from the moon. In a worst case scenario, Earth tips 90 degrees, so a pole points directly toward the sun. Both ice caps melt and reform completely every six months. Now you've got the poles that are directly in the line of the sunlight with a very high incidence angle, and so you'll get warmer temperatures there, and you'll have the equator in the exact opposite situation. That would mean that you could have, uh, say, glaciation on one half of the sphere of the globe and deserts on the other half. Take away the moon and water would move away from the equator. Florida could become more arid, wiping out most of the state's agriculture. More direct sun could turn Paris into a desert. covering everything beneath tons of decimated earth. In North America, severe tropical storms could wipe out East Coast cities, killing millions. In the southern hemisphere, Brazil's Rio de Janeiro could be plunged into six months of darkness. Starved of sunlight, it would experience a winter like none the planet has ever seen. Plants would starve and animals would die en masse. and that would mean that you would probably have a breakdown of the ecosystem that supports all advanced life. After six months, as Earth moves along its orbit, climates would reverse again. A glacier might engulf North America and recede again six months later. 